second class. We are today going to learn about another wonderful adventure mystery children's book series of the Five Find Outers and Dog, popularly known as the Five Find Outers. It is written by Enid Blyton. The Five Find Outers and Dog solve a mystery almost every school holiday, in their village Peterswood which is on Bourne End, close to Marlow, Buckinghamshire. The Five Find Outers are Fatty, Larry, Pip, Daisy, and Betts. And there is Buster. Fatty's dog. They always solve the mystery before Mr. Goon, the local village policeman who keeps interfering in their investigations, much to their annoyance. Today's book is The Mystery of the Missing Necklace, published in 1947. It is the fifth book of the series of 15 books. During the summer holidays, five find outers get bored because there is no mystery to solve. Betts calls them, the boringest halls we've ever had but the children have lots of lemonade and ice cream. When will a new mystery appear? The five find-outers find out that their village Peterswood is the headquarters of a gang of jewel thieves. These jewel thieves are committing jewel burglaries outside of their village, but none in Peterswood. However, Peterswood is the meeting place of a very clever gang of jewel thieves, where the members communicate with each other by exchanging messages to each other. Who are these jewel thieves? Where is their headquarters located in Peterswood? How do these thieves pass messages to each other? Find outers decide to try and help, by keeping their eyes open for anyone who looks suspicious. Fatty's voice has broken. Fatty this time around has grown much taller and his voice has begun to change. He uses his broken voice to his advantage to use a wide range of new adult disguises. Including that of an old woman selling balloons. To resemble an old man who spends his afternoons sitting on a bench in the middle of the village. The first clue, Hooters. The gang member who passed on the message had a Hooter on his bicycle. They try to find out how many people have bought Hooters. They find out one gang member due to Betts not noting down the name or description of the boat in which he once sailed. The children discover the old man was being used by the gang to pass on messages. The second clue, Old Man. Fatty disguises himself as the old man sitting on a bench in the middle of the village. He falsely tells the real old man not to come because the police are watching his moves. He receives a cigarette containing a message that is nothing but a grocery list. The find-outers find out the real message hidden in secret ink. The secret message is about the place of the gang's next meeting, at a waxworks hall. There are lots of statues of famous people made with wax in the waxworks hall. Fatty decides that he will also attend this meeting with another disguise. Fatty in Napoleon Disguise Fatty disguises himself as the waxwork of Napoleon so that he can listen in on the gang's meeting. Well, said Pip honestly, I can't see any likeness at all. Not in the slightest. And the response from dear Betts, do you want to look like Napoleon? Betts said in surprise. I don't think Fatty looks very nice, really. And I don't like those men that go about thinking they want to conquer the whole world. Mr. Goon sneezes, Fatty gets captured at the waxworks halls. Fatty used his disguises and disguises himself as a waxwork figure of Napoleon but what did he find? Mr. Goon had the same idea as he had and had come there disguised himself as a policeman. Goon had no idea that anybody beside himself was in the room. During the gang's meeting, Mr. Goon sneezes giving the game away. But Fatty is caught instead. Fatty is tied up and locked in a cupboard before the gang leaves to carry out another jewelry robbery. Mr. Goon leaves Fatty locked in the cupboard to teach him a lesson, but Larry returns to the hall and frees him. Where is the fifth member and the missing necklace? The children believe that Mr. Goon has solved the mystery before them, as the jewel thieves are arrested. However, a stolen pearl necklace is still missing and the fifth member escaped with the missing necklace. When Mr. Goon comes to know that Fatty is safe, he exclaims, that toad of a boy. Betts is brilliant in this book. The solution, definitely creative, is that once again little Betts works out. She manages to see through Fatty's disguises. She catches on to the important clues. Her intuition is always spot on. But where is the missing necklace hidden? 
What happens to the fifth member of the Jewel Thief Gang? Will he also be arrested? Will the five find out or solve this mystery? To find the answer, you have to read this wonderful book and help the five find outers to solve the mystery of the missing necklace. Hope you must have liked this amazing story book. You can write down your answers in the comment section. Do you want to learn more about the five find outers other great adventures? You can watch the videos of the other books of the wonderful adventures of the five find outers in this book love channel. Goodbye and take care.